The Chinese Communist Party had four spies, some double agents, inside the CIA and FBI, and they devastated America's efforts to spy on the CCP. Here are the details that are now being revealed for the first time. Journalist James Banford, in a new book titled Spy Fail, reveals how CCP spies expose the CIA and FBI spy networks, tradecraft, and secrets to the CCP. The first case involves two brothers who are CIA officers and then switch sides to China. A man named Alex Ma and his older brother, David. The brothers work for the CIA, where they learn the most important secrets of our intelligence gathering efforts in China. After they left the CIA, they decide to spy for the CCP. In March 2001, the two brothers met with at least five personnel from China's Ministry of State Security. They told the CCP all about CIA operations in China, including the false identities used by CIA officers, the names of the CIA spies, information about the covert communication system, and other secrets about how the CIA operates. In return, they were given $50,000. The younger brother, Alex Ma, then agreed to try to infiltrate the FBI. In 2004, the FBI hired him to serve as a Chinese translator in Hawaii, giving him access to intercepted communications. At that point, China now had a double agent inside the FBI. He passed along the pictures and names of at least five spies, along with other sensitive information about U.S. intelligence operations, missiles, and weapon systems. Eventually, the FBI became suspicious. In August 2020, Alex Ma went to meet with people who he thought were from China's Ministry of State Security. It was really an FBI sting. They arrested him, and he is still awaiting trial. His older brother, David, has not been arrested because he has Alzheimer's. The third spy is Katrina Lung, who is described in the book as a key FBI asset regarding China. In 2003, it was discovered that she was a double agent and that she was sleeping with two high-level FBI agents working on China, including her own FBI handler. The FBI found out that she was a double agent for more than a decade and throughout that time was passing disinformation to the U.S. government, disinformation that had even reached the White House. The fourth spy was Zhen Cheng Li, a former CIA officer who was recruited in 2010. Li had left the CIA in 2007, but during his time there, he served in China and knew the names of human intelligence sources and knew about the covert communication system. He met with China's Ministry of State Security, who gave him $100,000 with promises of more for the rest of his life. He began trying to re-enter the CIA, but he had no success in doing so. When the CIA caught on to him, they searched his hotel room and found his notebook where he had written the names of spies and details about their operations, including when and where they had secretly met with the CIA. Instead of arresting him, the FBI interviewed him again and again, a total of five times. Lee at that point obviously realized he was in trouble, so he moved to China. In January 2018, Lee made the mistake of flying to New York, where he was arrested. He's been sentenced to 19 years in prison. Altogether, these four spies did severe damage to the FBI and CIA's efforts to gain intelligence on China. But China isn't the only country where the U.S. has suffered setbacks. On October 5, 2021, the New York Times reported that the CIA had sent a cable warning that dozens of its spies had been killed, captured, or turned into double agents in recent years. And it wasn't only happening in China. It was happening in Russia, in Iran, and in Pakistan as well. I'm Ryan Morrow for American Military News. Thanks for watching.